Welcome back Streamers Reloaded, my name is Tom and let's get right into the news. And we begin today shortly after last episode with a ban from the CSGO professional, Simple. It appears Simple doesn't know why he was banned because he tweeted, Champions Club, Twitch has not notified me on the specific reason behind their decision. Firm handshakes to all for the support during this difficult time. While I'm enjoying my ban, we can all enjoy the other streams with the great giveaways that everyone can easily win. Simple. So as Simple doesn't know the reason for his ban, he's decided to joke about it in the same way Doc has. With the second half of this tweet being a jab at Twitch for not taking enough action at these scam streams that have been going on in the CSGO section. For this one though, Simple has been banned off the platform. If we take a look at Simple's previous ban, he previously received a suspension back in November of 2019 for using the term P-I-D-O-R, which when translated means the homophobic F-word. In this case, alongside Simple, Zeus, who used to be in the same team as Simple, was banned at the same time, which most likely means they were in the same situation that triggered the suspension. Based on the previous ban, if it is is for the same reason, this ban should be 7 days, but as of right now, Simple and Zeus are still both banned. Next up we got one from the League of Legends player TF Blade, who announced on stream that he's been removed from the League of Legends partnership program. For those who don't know, Riot have a partnership program that gives content creators special benefits for being within the League of Legends community. Last week, the streamer I Will Dominate announced his removal from the partnership program, of which he got a bit emotional about on stream. The reason he was removed he later added was to do with a tweet he put out on social social media, which one user responded saying that it was most likely to do with a tweet connected to the Hashinshin ban on Twitch, where in response to the ban, I Will Dominate responded with, finally. One user responded with, okay, he's definitely ending it all now, which I Will Dominate responded with, and if he does, it's no one's fault. This measure needed to be taken to protect minors from him. If a <laughs> gets fired from a job at a school and kills themselves afterwards, it doesn't mean that what the school did was wrong. And so this week, similarly, the streamer T of Blade has also been removed from the the partnership program. Slightly differently, TF Blade has been removed for lack of improvement due to his behavior. He announced that on stream, so here is the clip. Station, probation, blah, 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 this show standards. After taking time to review, it's in mind that there hasn't been the necessary improvement. Okay, with no proof. Like, what, uh, fine. Expected from our league partners. Therefore, be effective immediately. You'll be removed from league partner program. Like, I don't care about this. I just care about Riot explaining why. Like, the thing is, they can't just come accusing me of being this guy that hasn't improved his attitude and he's toxic. They haven't even said why I got banned and they're just accusing shit. Then in some quick bits, a lot of you have been asking for an update on Shroud. Well, there's been basically nothing since his leave from Mixer. But we do now have Shroud tweeting a short gif of a gun shooting, which has an additional clip overlaid during the second part. You can read into this however you want. Some believe it means Shroud is going to go pro in Valorant, as Omen can be seen in the second part. But really, it could just mean anything. Then also, Ninja is buying an island. As we know, Ninja just got a huge $30 million paycheck from Mixer. So just Jessica Blevins, Ninja's wife, has tweeted out, we are buying an island. Following on, we got some drama surrounding Pokemon and the YouTuber Leafy is here. Leafy has decided to make a content nuke on Pokemon. The video brings up a few of Pokemon's past dramas as well as the focus. In the video, in one specific section, Leafy leaves a message to all tier 3 subs, Pokemon has a boyfriend. This is followed in the description with Leafy telling people to discuss the video on Twitter with the hashtag Pokemon boyfriend. And well, do Due to the amount of people using this hashtag, it got onto the trending, causing Pokemon to post a response. After this, a few streamers, those being Destiny and XQC, responded to this video, and since, Leafy has posted a second video. Watching through this, he just makes fun of the reactions to the original. Following on, we got some more drama from Ninja, this time including the streamer Sony. Now, these two are on a team together, practicing for an upcoming tournament. During one game, Ninja gets into a bit of a heated argument with T1 Sony, because Ninja doesn't like how Sony is playing. So First, here is the clip. Oh, I thought it might have. Dude, you, you're so guys, fucking wild! Guys, guys, they're on it! They're on it! Like, I'm I know. I'm no, no, Lex, Lex, that's, that's my bad, that's my bad, Lex. I thought it was playing on the other side, that's my bad. What? Tyler? Dude, I'm literally, I'm fucking, I can't. What? Yo, Lex. Fucking, like, do you know how to play Yo. the game, Sony? My bad, dude. Do you know how to play, like, you know that your teammates are lying, Bitch, I literally just out-fracked you the last three games. I literally just out you the last three games. What do you mean, how do so I know how to play the game? You're, you're, dude, you're seriously the fucking stupidest person on the goddamn planet, Sony. I'm not Here we kidding. go, dude. Here I'm we serious, go. I'm serious, man. I'm actually fucking- I'm not even kidding, dude. It's actually out of this. Stop bringing your fucking friends. That's what I'm talking about. 
Like, that was a dog shit fucking oath. Your teammate is still alive. Wait you know why it's dog shit? Because you're fucking be bitching in challenge. my ear 24 Let's 7. Push your mouth. You're oh, that's bitching exactly. in my right, fucking right, okay. ear. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> There's some mid, they're running up hookah. So yes, this developed further onto Ninja fully removing Sony from the team. Sony later tweeted, Update here because I know a lot of people were fans and supported us as a team. Tyler has made the decision that he's unable to play with me being on the team. The guys will continue to play together. Sorry if this is a bit sudden, still processing it myself. After that tweet, Sony then went on stream to talk about the situation further. So this is a follow on from that clip. And Sony says that after that round, Ninja muted himself and started smoking Sony. Sony saw all of this trash talk as a a joke but Ninja did not because afterwards Ninja then left a message in the group chat saying he will not be playing with Sony on the team. Here is the clip. Right and then um the sixth or seventh game we were on bind and I think there was like one play where I didn't uh alt correctly or like I didn't really do that good of an alt because I was just kind of goofing around uh because we were winning so hard. Clutch situation the guy wasn't gonna win right Lex was watching from heaven and I so I just alted and um after that you know there was some criticism some critiquing going back and forth like you know good alt bad alt whatever you know just like and that, that was the vibe the whole day you know it was just like banter back and forth like jokingly saying shut the fuck up and stuff and um after that uh ninja muted all of us uh and muted himself and i don't know score was like nine seven whatever we were winning i started opping from heaven and then he would just he just kept like chain smoking me from heaven so like ninja was on b i was on a and he would smoke me in heaven to stop me from sniping and i was just like laughing like i thought it was hilarious like oh my god he's like you know stop fucking with me because like you know we're winning really easily like you know it's okay it's funny so he just kept smoking me every single round and i didn't really think much of it um and then we won that game he didn't say a word and then dropped a message in the group DM that he could no longer play with me on the team. Um, and then he left the group DM. I instantly tried calling him, tried texting him. He blocked my number. Uh, I DM'd him. He unfollowed me. And... Yeah. That's it. So after all of that, the last mentionable point is that Sony has decided to take a break. Ninja has not spoken about this on Twitter or anywhere, but Sony did tweet out, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Feeling really, really shitty from reading some of the stuff coming my way now. I'm no saint and I'm not perfect. I could have handled numerous situations through my life better. Taking time off. Sorry. And that's actually where I'm going to end today's video. Sorry this one's a bit short. I thought I'd wait an extra day to see if anything else happened, but nothing big did. If you haven't seen it yet, there was a midweek video last week so link to that at the end. Aside from that, I want to thank you all for watching as normal. Stay safe and I hope to see you in the next one.